everybody, today we'll be playing the Crew 2 once again and customizing the Chevy Camaro RS 1969. Um, I went ahead and already bought it. I have it out here on the salt flats. I figure that's the easiest way to test it. Um, showing here it's all stock. Go ahead and see what it is stock here for us. So I guess the top speed is 129. Let's see what happens. Take it to the shop and we'll get it customized here. Alrighty, so we're back at the garage here. Going to get the customization going here. But first, I'm going to go here and show you I have the 2017 Camaro Z71. I have the Exorcist livery on this. Looks very really great in the matte black and red finish with the red and black interior here. Open up the door so you can see it a little bit better. I think it's a great, love the interior, red and black leather there, close this up, got the other Camaro here, I'd like to say it's my Bumblebee version, it's the 1971 Camaro Z28, black and yellow, got the black and yellow seats on this one, you can see it just fine, I'm not going to open it here, we'll go ahead and bring it back. Once again, we'll be customizing the 69 Camaro RS. Alright, we've got 16 hood options. That's a lot. I'm a big fan of the blowers. I mean, to each your own. This one, not too bad. That. If you watch my Challenger video, you'll know that I kind of like the old classic version. Like, this one's not too bad. I kind of like this a lot. And we'll go ahead and keep number 2 out of 16 there. Moving on to the front bumper. There's 42 front bumper options. I mean, that is amazing. I don't think I've seen that with an old muscle car yet. Looks like a splitter was added there. Not a big fan of that big splitter in the front. Gonna go back to the stock here, see what we can get. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do for paint. So, kind of trying to match it up here. This isn't bad, I love it. The, the lights are actually on the right and left there. That lo lower splitter is not too bad. Looks like you remove the chrome entirely in the front bumper. I kind of like that chrome option, to be honest. I know it looks like it, and we end up putting it back in on the bumper itself, or the screen, no less. Go ahead and go back over here to that chrome bumper. We might change it after we see the. No, I kind of like this. Kind of, no, maybe not. Like I said in my last video, it takes me a long time to customize stuff, but. I like the square lights so you know what I'm gonna go ahead and keep number one to be honest. Front fender options, two options, yep I was figuring out the wide body which I'm not a fan of. Looks like the tires are way in on that. 
Would have been awesome if they were actually out. We keep the original look. Plus, you also lose that lose that chrome fender there when you go second. So definitely gonna keep the first one. Rims, I put the stock rim on there. You get two options, and then there's 81 after that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the first one I picked when I bought the car. Caliper, I'll probably just keep it black. Um, for the reason that, for one, you can't see it, but like I said, I might be changing the color here. Mirrors, you get this small chrome mirror or the paint to match the car, and the mirror ch totally changes. I'm going to go ahead and keep that chrome look as well. Rear fenders, I'm guessing a white body like before. Once again, the tires stay inwards, so it just looks crazy. I'm going to go ahead and keep the chrome option. Plus, you also lose lose the air intakes there yeah moving on rear wing or spoiler got the small one that's a very nice to itself here the one that just enough elevated the black if I had any more black on here hmm might go with that actually because I go with the black option yeah, um, I guess if you're going for a really big racing style or type of drag car, that might work. Not for me. But I'm going to stick with this original, see what happens. Going on to the rear bumper. So we had 42 in the front. There's 72 options in the rear bumper. That's just crazy. I think that's actually more than the Cadillac Escalade. So here we go. I like these old school lights here. I like the square ones a little bit better. Plus they match the front of the car. This kind of reminds me of my GT500 Mustang. I kind of want to keep that chrome bumper in the back. Um, for the reason it matches everything else. But the front bumper also has that chrome look still. Oh, I see the exhaust are also switching. Sorry, I'm going through this a little bit fast, but I kind of have an idea of what I already want. I don't like that painted bumper. It's a little tacky for my taste. I love the square lights. I also love the square exhaust look. Now we're really not getting off track for what I'm looking for. Um, we'll just keep on going here. That actually does not look bad. It's not sure about the exhaust going through there like that, though. We'll keep going. I don't know, this just kind of reminds me of an airplane. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, once again, like I said, if you're going for a drag body, then this is for you. Put this on, put that giant wing on the back, you'd be set. I did go ahead and take all my performance parts off my Exorcist Camaro, so we're going to try to get this as far as we can get. Should be 280 out of 280. Alright, now we're finally at the back here. Alright. I really like this, but it doesn't match the front. So, I'm going to try to find those square... I Headlights there, rear lights. Alright, come on. Alright, I can think I really like this. We're gonna go 15 out of 72. That's still just wow. Um, I'm gonna keep it black for now. Um, I, I had a feeling that was gonna happen with the older cars, the entire interior changes. Um, I know there's like four options, but we're gonna keep it black for now. And that should be it on customizing. I'm going to go ahead and change the performance level. Once again, this was fully stock. So now we're going to change it all the way up to 280 here.
Alright, I'm gonna go over to color here. Gonna change it to anodize, get that black and chrome. Man, oh, that looks amazing. Alrighty, back on the salt flats. I went ahead and just left it black for now. Uh, chrome, chrome tires, chrome bumper. I mean, really can't get wrong with the chrome and black. It honestly looks really good. I kept the interior black for now. Um, I have an idea what I want to do, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it black. Maybe we'll show it in a later video. But here we go. Down here on the salt flats. I'm going to turn it just a little bit. I want to hit that hill there. Have it, guys and gals. 69 Camaro RS. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you again for watching.